Good morning, Sleeping Amy family, and welcome back to Mailbag Monday. We got a little bit today. I've been having an issue with the USPS not dropping off stuff. Kind of getting lost in Atlanta, <laughs> which is a little ways from where I live. Don't know why. I got one on the way that was kind of stuck there. Um, the other one that I've it's kind of stuck at that facility is from my mud kit, unfortunately. And I'm hoping that package can get found and uh, sent on its way to me. And it kind of frustrates us both that it's just stuck there. Don't know why. And we've called a lot and nobody else knows why either. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got two pieces of mail that I can uh, show you guys. One is a giveaway win from Moxie Card Shop. And this is really cool because they gave away, well, I'll show you guys. <laughs> so they actually gave away packs of V-Star Universe. And I've never had a chance to grab one of these boxes. They get so hyped at the time. They were way expensive and I was not going to pay those hyped prices for it. So I've never opened V-Star Universe and it's really cool to have a pack of this. Uh, if I do open it, it'll be at a later time. <laughs> I haven't decided yet, to be honest. But I also want to say thank you to the Crimson Trainer. Because in this particular giveaway, the person that you tagged as well as you retweeting also got a pack. So the Crimson Trainer actually won. And because they tagged me, I also won a pack. So thank you to the Crimson Trainer. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really cool to have a pack of V Star Universe. And uh, it's one of those I'm gonna hold for now. I'll think on it if I wanna open it. <laughs> Cause you know, you can find a God pack in there where everything is a hit. And of course, the you'll actually get a V, I think, or a V Max guaranteed in it. But who knows? <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on to it for now. <laughs> but thank you, Moxie Card Shop, for the giveaway win. Okay, the next one and the other piece of mail that I got the past week is from uh, Oscar. And uh, this actually has a story behind it a little bit that involves my mic kit, but I'll just show you guys the card first. And it is the Articuno Hollow from Fossil. So my mic kit actually had one of these cards. It was actually a first edition Articuno Hollow from Fossil. Uh, he decided to, and it was pretty much in near mint condition too. <laughs> well, we were searching for an expensive card, <laughs> and he decided to put it towards a trade up for the card that I was looking for. So he gave up his first edition Articuno. So I've been searching for one. I honestly would have loved to find a first edition to kind of replace it, but he said, no, no, just look for an unlimited one and he would be very happy. We're trying to uh, finish the, kind of the Wizards of the Coast ones. It's kind of a long journey to do that, <laughs> but we are kind of working on trying to get the cards from the old Wizards of the Coast sets. Yes, it is a very daunting task as there's a lot of them all the way up to Sky Ridge, I believe, or Aquapolis. One of those is the last one, but he would love to get completed sets of of those <laughs> of those old Wizards of the Coast sets. So I have been searching at least for a little bit for the uh, Articuno one, a good one. And this one was a very, very nice one that Oscar had. Is in very good condition. Not I don't think you put it as near mint, but it's in very, very good condition and <laughs> And uh, it won't fully replace the uh, first edition one in my mind kids, uh, that my mind could have, but it absolutely does uh, <laughs> go into the fossil set, a card that we would need towards a completed fossil set. My mind kid has a bunch of vintage cards, and eventually we'll need to put all of them into binder binders in order to see where we are with the sets because he's got a lot <laughs> and we got a lot of duplicates too so amazing for trade 
many. Put them up for sale, some of the duplicate vintage that we have. But yes, that was a sweet story behind that one. I gave up not just one, but this thing was three first edition cards. That being the most prized one out of the three. Not his most prized cards, I will say that. <laughs> I wish I could show off a lot of his really, really good cards in his collection. I think he has them right now. When in the future, I think he would love to show them off. But it was definitely one of those very hard, very nice cards he, he had. Um. <laughs> so, just kind of a snippet of if you guys ever want to know how sweet my night gift is. I'm sure you guys kind of know he's already done several uh, Put up for several giveaways on the channel, including some Crown Zenith ones and the current one that we have. So all I have to say is, if you guys want, go follow my mic up. It is at Coolidge Doodles on Twitter, and uh, <laughs> he will eventually do some more commissions. He actually does the artwork that I use for my profile picture that's on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> He's done three for me, a beach scene, and now we're at, on this current one that is a Halloween theme. Um, I really like this current one. I <laughs> uh, love the uh, Poltergeist that's in it. He did a shiny phantom there, so he will do commissions again at some point. Just not yet. <laughs> and uh, I do have to say, I think another commission he's done is uh, Mount Tequila. It was also super awesome. Over the past weekend, he did a raid to help me boost my subscriber count. So <laughs> we're getting pretty close to 1,000 subscribers. So I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, all right, we got two more things I got to show from Out by Monday. And they're actually from Pokemon Center. And you guys may know, because it was a recent drop, the Van Gogh items which has got a lot of controversy around it, but the ones I actually got were the Eevee figure, which honestly, I actually didn't have this on the list of things I wanted to get, but now that I have it, it's actually really, really cute, and I'm very glad I was able to snag it. That's the front, the back, you actually can see the portrait part, so I really like that too. Some of the items I was hoping to get were the sleeves, <laughs> A Pikachu and Eevee and then the other items were oh, I was looking to see if I could get the plush because my mic really liked the plush as well as uh, one of the play mats but eh, at least I had a few options the other one was this item which I was very glad to get and it is the canvas tote <laughs> and it does have Eevee on it um, it's kind of difficult to show, but it's got the Eevee picture that's on the back of that figure. And it's on a canvas tote, so I really like those. I use those to go shopping, so and it's very beautiful. Again, I wish I just got some sleeves, but oh well. I am appreciative of being able to get two items. And of course, we got two of the Pikachu promos. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I was very happy to be able to get a couple of those. Because I know that Van Gogh drop has a lot of just, oh man, it, all the items sold out. I know you're still able to get these promos. Pokemon's going to uh, allow some way, somehow, people to get these promos because they still have a bunch of them. But the items in the Van Gogh were really cool. So Hopefully... Uh, those items will be able to come down on price. I know they're really expensive off the secondary market right now. And I know the Van Gogh website is going to restock. But I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> that the items will go down so more people will be able to get some. But that is all the mail that I have for today. <laughs> I will have more mail definitely coming in the next week. I think I've released four things, hopefully, uh, that will come. And, uh... As of right now, I may snack some more. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to keep trying to snack some 151 as well. Stay tuned. I have a video going up Wednesday for that. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Mailbag Monday. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and as always, take care, sleep well, and get out.